Neil Patrick Harris strips down, Lady Gaga belts it out, and boys do cry. Looking at you, Chris Pine. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Simone Boyce, an entertainment reporter at Fox 5 New York, here with a little Oscars recap for you. More like the Bloskers. This was so boring, and I don't think we can blame it all on host Neil Patrick Harris, because he really is a talented guy, but I think a lot of the jokes that were written for him really fell flat, and I also think that he was a little bit out of his element, because I don't think the Broadway shtick really plays with the Hollywood crowd. You've got a really cynical audience there. But let's move on to the fashion. I really like the fashion this year on the red carpet, we saw a lot of really gorgeous nude flesh tone dresses. I love Zoe Saldana's look, love Jennifer Aniston's look, and I also love Jennifer Lopez's dress, although she's getting some flack for becoming kind of a one-trick fashion pony. She always wears these plunging uh, dresses that show off her cleavage. I love that style, but I do think that she could try something new. She's been doing that since the green Versace dress. Uh, red was also a really big color on the red carpet this year. Rosamund Pike, star of Gone Girl, really rocked a gorgeous strapless red gown. And also Dakota Johnson, the star of Fifty Shades of Grey, I thought she looked lovely in her Yves Saint Laurent gown. As a movie fan, it really kills me that the Oscars has become the most boring award show of the season. And I think there are some things that we can do to change that. For example, look at the Grammys, okay? They take the most boring categories that most people don't really care about, they pull them out of the live show, and they give out those awards beforehand. I would love to see something like that happen at the Oscars. Now, that doesn't mean that these are lesser awards and that these people don't deserve their time on stage, but I think if you're going to try and get a younger audience to connect with this award show, you've got to pull out those lesser known categories and put in some really lively, vibrant performances. The Grammys is really good at putting these collaborations together that we wouldn't really expect. I would love to see some wild pairings from actors. What if we had some actors doing live performances together, performing a scene, performing a monologue? I think that would really switch it up. Now the awards for the most part were pretty predictable. Wah, wah, wah. We all knew who was going to win this year. I'm really happy for Julianne Moore, really happy for J.K. Simmons from Whiplash, really happy for all the nominees, but they were they were expected. We all knew who was going to win. The only one that was down to the line was Birdman and Boyhood for Best Picture. I did think Birdman was going to come out with a win, and they did in the end, so kudos to them. The strongest part of the 87th Oscars were the performances. Let's start by talking about Glory from Common and John Legend. Now they won the Oscar for Best Original Song and they totally deserve it. They gave me chills. They had everyone in the audience crying. David Oyelowo, who played Martin Luther King Jr. in the film, was crying. Chris Pine was crying. Personally, I love seeing a man cry. I think it's actually really sexy when, there are, when they allow themselves to get a little vulnerable. And I think Chris Pine really gained a lot of fans that night because he was the first one to stand up and give a standing ovation for this song. It was an incredible performance, legendary, iconic. Lady Gaga blew me away. And I love this performance because she really stripped down. She got rid of those ugly red gloves that she wore on the red carpet. She got rid of the meat and all the crazy stuff that she typically wears when she performs. And we really got to see who this artist really is. She is a phenomenal singer. Her performance was flawless. Technically speaking, I don't I don't know much about singing, but I didn't hear one bad note. I didn't hear one flat note. She absolutely killed it, was graceful, was elegant. I would love to see more of this Lady Gaga. What did you guys think of the 87th annual Oscars? Did it bore you to tears? Because it bored me to tears. Let me know what you thought of the show in the comments section, and I will see you next time. <laughs> comments section, love to hear from you guys. I'll bleh. Well, see here will be gas. And, and I will see you guys next time. Adios. Show in the comments section, and I will see you next time. I don't know what that was.